Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's video. This video is going to be a little different compared to my previous ones because this particular painting took a little longer and I have a bit more footage so I thought I'd have a little chat with you guys and change the pace up a little. So in all honesty, I was having a really hard time deciding what to talk about in today's video. This is the first time I'm publishing any of my voiceovers that I've recorded. Most of the time I just get frustrated with my lack of words or when I screw something up and I end up deleting them. I've just been so nervous to start putting myself out there in this regard and I found it easier to hide within the safety of my studio. But since I began this journey of becoming a full-time artist only a few months ago, I've been doing nothing but putting myself out there so I thought to myself, why stop here? No, just keep going, go all out, just do it. You'll only get better as time goes on. It's because of this that I decided that I wanted to talk about how important it is to follow your dreams and to not be afraid of putting yourself out there. Naturally, when someone chooses this career field, there is an uncertainty. I don't think any of us know how well we're going to do when we choose this occupation. Perhaps some people do, and that's great, but I know I sure didn't. I still don't know what I'm doing most of the time, but I'm not afraid of trying anymore. Now, if anything, I'm more afraid of not trying. I'd rather try now and to fail than to have lived my whole life and wondering, what if? I think that a good amount of the uncertainty we feel comes from how we think others might react to our decisions. This was true to me for the longest time and still is today, but it's something that I'm working past. I spent years aiming at a career that I genuinely wasn't excited for but simply went with because it made sense, would earn a living, and was something that others kept encouraging me to pursue. This was for me so many years up until I finally got tired of it. I realized that this was my life and no one else's and I was going to start being true to myself. For the most part, people have been very supportive of my recent decisions but I still get the occasional unsolicited advice. Unfortunately, there is a stigma against artists and when others hear that you create art for a living, it's almost like they stop taking you seriously. The vibe of the conversation changes and you get a few smiles, a lot of blank stares, nods and the phony, that's nice, response. If this is where any of you are at as well, please know that you're not alone. We're in this together and I know how you're feeling. It's hard, but I want to encourage you to really stay true to yourself. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. I have severe social anxiety and I'm here making YouTube videos. If I can do it, then I know you can do it too. And all of this doesn't just apply to art, it can be in any area of life. Whether it be a different career choice, maybe an unpopular clothing style, perhaps you have a hard time expressing your opinion because you're afraid of what others will think of you and you're afraid of being judged. All I can say is that there is no better feeling than to be true to yourself and to show others who you really are. Maybe they won't accept it at first. They might never accept it. But at least they will know you're being honest. I like to think of this topic with the following scenario. We're all traveling along this big road called life and eventually we reach a crossroads. One path is paved and for the most part looks safe to travel down. There is a clear destination marked at the end and there is no known interruptions along the path. It's been walked down before plenty of times and is safe to travel down. On the other hand, the other path seems a little more questionable. It's overgrown, dark, and the footing looks to be a little rocky. It's not a clear cut path and there is no sign saying exactly where this path will go. It might end halfway through for all we know. There is no certainty. It might seem easier and less frightening to walk down the paved, clean-cut path that's sure to bring you to a safe place. We might choose to take that one because we're sure it's going to take us to a destination. There's nothing at all wrong with this choice or the people that choose to go this way. Let's say that most people do choose to pick that first path. They might know exactly what they want in life and they see a clear way to get there. They might have never even thought about the other path as an option and simply say that this is the best choice for them. 
There may also be some stragglers along the way who weren't sure what path to choose and they saw how many people were going for that first one and they didn't want to be left behind so they followed along. But what happens when, while walking that path, you find yourself wondering where the other path might have taken you? Is it too late to go back and find out now? How many people will simply keep traveling along the path they've chosen because they've already started it and they don't want to risk turning back? Especially if the other one doesn't lead anywhere, and that's perfectly understandable. However, if you find yourself being curious about that other path, then I encourage you to not be afraid of turning back and seeing where it might lead you. You never know. It might be a dead end and it might put you behind, but at least you will know where it took you and from there, you can simply turn around and continue down that first path again, knowing that you gave the other one a shot. When given these two options in life, there is no guaranteed certainty in either direction and there is no correct answer. Each path is unique to each individual and I hope this simply inspires you to follow your intuition regardless of the path that others around you choose to take. That's all I have for today's video you guys. This painting is titled Escort and is available for a limited time as a special offer to my patrons. So be sure to check out my different reward tiers at patreon.com slash creations. Otherwise, this piece will be made available to the public in the coming months. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's painting video. If you liked it, then make sure to thumbs this video, video up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, keep creating.